Rahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good afternoon to Professor Madia Dr. Suhaina Aji Sulaiman and fellow friends. Today, I'm Rehana. We present uh, about functional food, which is titled Pomegranate Punica Granatum in scientific name and its potential for prevention and treatment of cancer. Okay, for the outline of my presentation, it will be abstract, introduction, which is background knowledge, epidemiology of the disease, which is the cancer, history of functional food, mechanism of action, active compound, evidence, discussion, conclusion and references. Okay, for the abstract, the pomegranate is a nutrient-dense food source rich in phytochemical compounds. It contains high level of flavonoids and polyphenols, potent antioxidants offering protection against cancer. Both in vitro and in vivo previous studies have the beneficial effects of pomegranate may be demonstrated how this fruit acts as antioxidant. Pomegranate contains a wide variety of phytochemical compounds such as galotanins, LAD acid, gallic acid, punicalins, and punicalagins. Phytochemicals are often referred to non-nutritive compounds thought to be produced by plants as means of protection against such dangers as harmful but ultraviolet radiation, pathogens, and herbivorous predators. Phenolic compounds including flavonoids, anthocyanins, and tannins are properties and have deeply value to their biological and free radical scavenging activities. Okay, for introduction, uh, I will include epidemiology of cancer, history of functional food, and what is pomegranate. Okay, for the cancer epidemiology, okay, cancer incidence worldwide. Breakdown of the estimated 12.7 million new cases each standardized incidence rates and the most commonly diagnosed cancers by the different regions of the world 2008. Okay, for the five most common cancers or resident in Malaysia 2007, this is the statistic from National Cancer Registry Report 2007, which concluded that breast cancer in Malaysia got 18.1%, head and neck cancer 13.2%, colorectal cancer 12.3%, trachea, bronchus and lung cancer 10.2%, and cervix and uterine cancer 4.6%. Okay, what is functional food? Functional food can be considered to be those whole fortified and rich or enhanced foods that provide health benefits beyond the provision of essential nutrients such as vitamins and minerals when they are consumed at efficacious level as part of a varied diet on a regular basis. Linking the consumption of functional foods or food ingredients with health claims should be based on some scientific evidence with the gold standard being replicated randomized placebo control intervention trials in human subjects. However, it must be emphasized that these foods and ingredients are not magic bullets or panaceas for poor health habits. Diet is only one aspect of a comprehensive approach to good health. Okay, what is pomegranate? Pomegranate, small tree up to 5 meter high, the bark of the pomegranate trees light brown with red buds and young shoots. The leaf is small, opposite, glossy and almost evergreen. The large and attractive pomegranate flowers is orange red color. The character right, the characteristic large pomegranate fruits crown with a calyx and contain numerous seeds in juice containing sap. Okay, the name pomegranate comes from medieval Latin meaning seed seed apple. It has been it has been named in many ancient texts from the book of Exodus in the Torah, the Quran, the Homeric hymns, and Mesopotamian records to name a few. The pomegranate originally came from Persia or modern day Iran. And there was the Himalayas, it had been cultivated for millennia in places such as Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, Russia, Pakistan, India, and the Mediterranean region. It migrated as far east as China and Southeast Asia and was found along the Silk Road as a symbol of abundance and prosperity. Okay, so this is the taxonomy of the pomegranate. Okay, the genus Punica and the species Igranata. 
Okay, so this is the cross section of pomegranate. You can see persistent calyx, leathery esocap, stem and cluster are very inferior, fleshy mesocarp inside, seeds each with fleshy outer layer which is called area. Okay, pomegranate use uh, can be used uh, as fruit juice, can be eaten like that. And also can also can be used as tea. Okay, so this is the nutritional values in one hundred gram of pomegranate. You can see calories. It gives sixty three to seventy eight kilocalorie. Uh, moisture seventy two point six to eighty six point four gram. Protein zero point zero five to one point six gram. And it consists fat, carbohydrate, fiber. Calcium, phosphate, iron, sodium, potassium, carotene, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, ascorbic acid, citric acid, and boric acid. Okay, so the pomegranate phytochemicals consist of polyphenol and other group. Polyphenol is white, it is phenolic ring, consists of multiple hydroxyl groups. Okay, for, for polyphenol, it contains ferroborinol which is flavanol and anthocyanin, condensed tannins which is called anthocyanidin, hydrolyzable tannins such as allergy tannins and galotannins. In other groups, it consists of organic and phenolic acid, sterols and triterpenoids, fatty acid, triglycerides and alkaloids. Pomegranate for allergy acid, regenerate skin cell, protect collagen, guards against UV rays, prevent sun damage, and protects against skin cancer. And two cyanides protect cell from oxidative and environmental stress and damage, protect DNA, and boost body production of built-in antioxidants. For punicalagin, it renews cells, increase microcirculation, and smooth and prevent wrinkles. What types of antioxidant and phytonutrients are inside pomegranate? Juice and areas, roots and buds, seeds, peel and bark, and also flowers give many phytonutrients and benefits such as anthocyanin and juice and areas, polycotanic acid, roots and bark, acid, conicic acid, conjugated acid, acid, at peel and bark, contain quercetin, punicalagin, and at flower contain urinary acid and anthocyanins. Okay, so this is the phytochemicals contained in pomegranate. Okay. Cancer arises from DNA mutation in cells. So now I will describe about pathophysiology of cancer. From normal cells, when DNA mutation it will become uncontrolled proliferation of cell. Last DNA mutation from heredity or radiation of chemicals or spontaneous errors during DNA duplication. Okay, this is normal cell. When carcinogenic agents such as chemicals, radiation, viruses attack the DNA of the cell, DNA will damage and cell become mutated. Mutated cell, activation of oncogenes by chromatogen and become malignant tumor. Poly so, polyphenol antioxidant activity. Okay. Polyphenol inhibit cytooxygenase, uh, will decrease arachidonic acid and inflammatory prostaglandins and lipoprene. And also, regression of NFKB and MATK pathway decrease inflammatory angiogenesis. And then balance between pro and anti inflammatory cytokines. Inhibition of nitrogen oxide will decrease nit nitrogen oxide and decrease oxidative stress, decrease cell pro proliferation, increase autophagy, and decrease cancer and decrease inflammation inflama inflama activity. Okay, so this is antioxidant and this is pyrolysis. As we can see, antioxidant will donate one electron to pyrolysis to stabilize this pyrolysis. This is called 
contract response. Okay. So for function and its component, it function for tumor growth, it is for correction, it is angiogenesis, it is for inflammatory cytokine, it is estrogen synthesis, and for metastasis, it uh, increase cell addition, decrease cell migration, and then decrease um, chemo, Phenolic compounds, which is flavonoids, anthocyanins, and tannins, are the main group of antioxidant phytochemicals with interesting properties and have deeply value to their biological and free radical scavenging activities. Okay, so, research studies evidences what can we conclude are. The use of juice, peel, and oil has also been shown to possess anti-cancer activities, including interference with tumor cell proliferation, cell cycle, invasion, and angiogenesis. This may be associated with plant-based anti-inflammatory effects. The phytochemistry and pharmacological action of all clinical granatum components suggests a wide range of clinical applications for the treatment and prevention of cancer as well as other diseases, where chronic inflammation is believed to play an essential etiologic role. Okay. Pomegranate used for centuries for its medicinal property is now being recognized as a potential chemo-preventive and anti-cancer agent. Increasing body of evidence has underscored the cancer-preventive efficacy of pomegranate both in vitro and in vivo animal models. Okay. For prostate cancer, Pomegranate from the tree Punica granatum possesses strong antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Recently showed that pomegranate fruit extract possesses remarkable anti-tumor promoting effects in mouse skin. Oral administration of pomegranate fruit extract to admitted new mice implanted with androgen sen sensitive CWR2 to R1 cells resulted in a significant inhibition in tumor growth concomitant with a significant decrease in serum prostate specific antigen levels. Okay, they have been shown to inhibit breast cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer, leukemia and to prevent vascular change that promote tumor growth in the animals. Several in vitro studies have been shown to the anti-cancer effect. Okay. There is evidence that pomegranate fruit juice significantly suppress tumor necrosis factor alpha induced cyclooxygenase 2 protein expression and FKB binding and AKT activation in these cells. Significant interaction with other bioactive polyphenols present in juice such as anthocyanins and flavonols may be responsible for this enhanced antiproliferative activity. Okay, Bosetta and others reported that Punicic acid, a conjugated fatty acid present in pomegranate seed oil, has an in vivo anti inflammatory effect by limiting neutrophil activation and repeat proliferation consequences. While Lee and others, 2010, analyzed four hydrolyzable tennis punicalagi punicalin, street tinin A and granatin B, isolated from pomegranate by bioassay guided fractionation. The components of pomegranate juice does not appear to synergistically suppress inflammatory cytokines expression. Okay, for this discussion, although the evidence in favor of pomegranate use is very promising, extensive studies are required to fully understand its possible contribution to human health before recommending its regular consumption. There have been not too many studies evaluating their safety in human subjects. A variety of recent studies have demonstrated that pomegranate in various form can be included as part of a healthy lifestyle with no risk of toxic reactions. Okay, for conclusion, the pomegranate fruit could be considered a functional food because it has valuable compounds in different parts of the fruit that is the functional and medicinal effects. The health benefit of pomegranate have been attributed to its wide range of phytochemicals, which are predominantly polyphenols, including primarily hydrolyzable elagitanins, anthocyanins, and other polyphenols. The consumption of pomegranate has grown tremendously due to its reported health benefit. Pomegranate and derivatives such as juice, peel, and seed are rich sources of several high-value compounds 
with potential beneficial side physiological activities, the rich biotic profile of pomegranate makes it a highly nutritious and desirable fruit crop. Okay. That's all from my presentation today. I want to thank you all of you for the attention. And for the references that I use, 